Okay, we're about to test that intersection. To do that, I'm going to have to ride a different tram than the one I've been riding. This one's going to be called the NGT-8. Okay. There it is over there. Let me try to get to it. Uh, if, if the game lets me, of course. <laughs> Okay, it has to be this one because this is the one headed for the intersection. Hold on, I can't click it because the station's in the way. I'm gonna have to wait till it moves out of the way a little bit. Here we go. Now I just gotta click on the first car and attempt to turn the camera around. Let's see if this one has a cab. Okay, good, it does. Wow, pretty good one, too. This one actually has a speedometer. But for some reason, the speedometer doesn't work. I guess the person never programmed it. So, this tram is called the NGT-8. I think it's Polish, but I have no idea where in Poland it operates. <laughs> I wonder what all these buttons are for. Oh, this one has a picture of a, of a bell on it, so it must be the tram bell. What does the bell sound like? Okay, what happens when I press the bell button instead of the horn? Oh, it just rings it louder. That's an approach signal over there. Please do not skip the station. Well, he didn't skip the station, but he didn't stop at the end of the platform either. Okay, he didn't stop at that station long, did he? <laughs> okay, he's gonna go straight through the intersection. The traffic light seems to be working, the right turn signal at least. Hmm. I'm not sure when we're supposed to get clearance. Hmm, the switch? Okay, that switch changed. I'm not really sure switches like this exist in real life. <laughs> Okay, he's stopping because of the tram signal, the tram stopper, I'm guessing. Three, four. I think we're on the last tram route to get clearance, so it's going to be a while. <laughs> I wonder if I can ride in the passenger view at this tram. No, I can't. What happens if I turn the camera around? Will I be able to see the seating? Oh, I can. Wow, I can even see the cars behind me. Oh, I thought I saw a tram approaching that intersection. I think I hear one, though. I don't see one, though. Anyway... 
Okay. Still not sure where the throttle is, but it's probably this right here since it's the only lever. But then where would the reverser be? Do trams even have reversers? In fact, where's the brake lever? I don't see that either. There's only one lever. That can't be for the throttle and the brake and the reverser at the same time, can it? Then again, there's this one train in Japan where the throttle and brake are the same lever, so I guess that much is possible at least. Still waiting for track clearance, I see. Well, at least we know that the stopper is working. But, of course, if it never changes to clear, that, that won't tell us any. That, that really, um, that'll only tell us that it's not working. Look at all these wires. Some cities actually complain about trams because of the wires hanging from the track makes it look very undecorative in fact the city i live in there was this there was these there were these traffic lights that were hanging off of power lines and they fixed it so that they're hanging on poles instead because they thought the wires looked ugly they really don't like hanging wires do they These cards are going straight through the traffic light. And of course, it's not really their fault. The game is really slow and it can't run the scripting for them to stop. I don't know why it's so slow though. The only thing I have up here are trains, tracks, and stations. Not really much scenery. It shouldn't be skipping right now. Oh, I think some of the cars actually stopped like they should. Well, that light's green now, so after that one turns red, it should be the tram's turn, I, I believe, if I remember correctly. Hmm, I still have 26 more intersections to do this for, and it usually takes me 30 minutes per intersection, so... I got a lot of work ahead of me. <laughs> okay, I think we're next. The switch didn't change. Okay. We're going straight through the intersection. That's a lot of switches and they look very complicated. It took me days to build one of them because the game wouldn't let me get the tracks the way I wanted them. Why do you go so fast through the train station? You're gonna skip it, aren't you? I just know it. 
Oh, must have really good brakes then. He stopped right at the very end of the platform. Well, I guess that's proof enough that the intersection's working. One tram made it through alive. I kind of want to test all the trams that will be going through this intersection, but I don't even remember which ones do that. This is the only one I remember that goes through this intersection. I can't move the camera at all. It's... Come on, move. I'm trying to get to the intersection. Let's see if there's any more trains coming. I think one is. And here's something that sounds like a tram. So, there's a tram here, isn't there? It's somewhere around here. It sounds pretty close. Oh, there it is. It looks like he's going to be the next one to go through this intersection. Let me try to click on him. What tram is this? I think it's called the 116N or 118N. I'm trying to get to the front car so I can go inside it. Well, this is a pretty cool cab. It will be even cooler if I knew where all the controls were. Like, uh... Uh, this one has that glitch on it, too. Hey, look, some of the cars are actually stopping at the intersection like they should. Okay, do we have a clear signal through the intersection? I guess we don't. Ugh, this sound glitch is killing me. In fact, I'm thinking of deleting the sounds that, um, that deal with the, um, doors opening and closing, just so I won't have to hear it. Okay, he stopped just short of the intersection, which means everything's working. Okay, looks like we're going to make a turn at this intersection. We're going to turn right. Well... For the record, when trams make sharp turns like this in the game, the um, the vestibules don't stay connected, even though in real life they would have. The game doesn't really understand that the connections between passenger cars are flexible, even on sharp curves. The, in fact, the vestibules are pretty much static on this game. They don't move at all. They don't bend with the curves or anything. I wish someone would make one that would, though. Because it feels like you're missing something when you look at the connections between passenger cars and they separate on curves. Well, this sound glitch isn't going away anytime soon. Okay, look, that traffic light just turned green. After it changes to red, we're going to be let through the intersection. I programmed the intersection a simple way, where one direction goes through at one... The, the base, basically, the, each line goes through one direction at a time. So, first all the north-facing routes, and then the south-facing ones, etc. Hey look, there's another tram on the other side of the intersection.
It looks like I picked the perfect intersection to test. It's a very busy one. And I think the next tram that stop that goes through this intersection is gonna go this way too. Why are you going so fast? Do you even know that the station's there? Well, I guess as long as you stop where you're supposed to. Okay, what's the next tram that's going to be going through this intersection? Hey, look. It's the same tram, but on the other direction of the line. Let's go inside it real quick. Hey, look. There's another tram using this intersection. The Siemens Combino. That makes sense. One of the um, tram stations on this line, I think it's called Savisquiego. I named it after the after one of the stops that appear on its destination sign. Okay, this tram is going to turn left at the intersection it looks like. No wait, or straight. But we can't go anywhere until the traffic light changes, of course. This is a great chance to see the system I'm using prevent two trams from colliding at an intersection. <laughs> It'll make sure that only one crosses at a time. It looks like there's another tram going to use this intersection. The switch on the left is also locked. So I'm guessing that means the next tram that goes through here is going to turn left? I don't know. It just got unlocked. And now it's locked again. So, which one of these trams will go through the intersection first? We're on the north facing route, aren't we? That means we're on route 2. Ha 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 ha. If you want. Still waiting for track clearance. I try to program it so that each line has to wait as short a time as possible. But with an intersection with this many routes, it'll take a long time to get back to your turn, no matter how short I make it. Was that car driving sideways? Ugh. Well, usually glitches like that correct themselves. Don't take too long. If this video gets too long, then I won't have any more memory on my phone. <laughs> I'm not sure which one's green right now. 
I could get outside the train and check, but there are lots of problems with the camera being slow. Maybe it would show up on the map though. Okay, according to the map, of all these signals in front of the traffic light, none of them are clear right now. Which probably means the one that is clear isn't being used by a train. Oh wait, one of them is about to be used. Okay. Which way is this tram going to go? Looks like he's going to go straight. No wait, he's turning. Doesn't my tram also have to go that way? Looks like he's stopping. Uh-oh. Did he, did he get stuck on the curve? That happens a lot in this game. When you go around sharp curves, trams get stuck. Eh. Well, this is a Simmons Combino after all. I, I've heard lots of bad things about this tram. Once did they cancel their order of this tram because they because they found out that other cities have trouble with it if it goes around too many s-shaped curves the couplings between the cars break over time after 120,000 miles they all have to be taken out of service which 120,000 miles isn't really that much for a train when you think about it Okay, I think this tram is stuck on the curve. I, it's not going to move. Ugh, I hate when this happens. I don't even know how to fix it. Okay, the tram stopper was working perfectly, but unfortunately, this Simmons Combino cannot make it through the curve because it's wheel slipping or something. The curve is too sharp for it, I don't know. I can't get it to move at all. It's completely stuck. Well, one thing I usually do when this problem happens is swap out the E unit for an A unit because I don't think the E unit is powered. If you put an A unit behind, in front of and behind a train that usually fixes the um, the wheel slip problem. I had to do the same thing for the PESA tram a while back. Speaking of which, this one's waiting for something. Probably stuck at another traffic light like this one. Well, that's bad because this tram needs to use this track too, but it can't because this one is using it and it's stuck. Uh, I'll come back later. Where's this tram going? Sovieskiego track one. Anastasia track one. Trying to get an idea of which route it's taking. Well, I guess that's it for this test. The traffic light's working, but the tram isn't. I'll have to do something about that later.